Well, good afternoon, guys. Uh, Nick's not feeling it this morning, or well, this afternoon. Uh, I'm going to be a cabin fever, so I've come out for a walk. I'm going to take you down International Drive. We're at, I've so just walked up to Angle of Summer, and we're just at the uh, Raptor Garden now. Uh, which, if you're interested, is stop number six on the I ride. It's just at the, the crossroads, just up there. And this is the Endless Summer Resort. You see the other one? This is one of the uh, resorts up there. And over the road, I think just at the corner there is the KFC. And we're just over from the Black Angus. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have a walk down International Drive, show you what's I mean, obviously, if you've been, you know, um, but what it's like and the the state of uh, I drive in general. We're going to go from here all the way down to Point, uh, and you can have a look and see what it's like at time of filming, which is March 2024. Uh, there is quite a lot of infrastructure now being done uh, for Epic Universe. It's a bit further away. Um, but you can get to it from I drive. So there's not a great deal of, uh, of, of building work going on on I drive itself, well, in the tourist part, but we'll show you all uh, what it's like all the way down, uh, from, as I say, from here to Point. So yeah, the first place we get to here is the Waffle House. Uh, never been in. It does, uh, it is some, somewhere we, uh, we do want to go. Uh, waffles and chicken's not my thing, but Nick uh, Nick was interested, so you never know. Uh, it's, I am going down on the left-hand side on the way down. There's a subway as well there. Uh, I am coming down on the left-hand side because that's where most of the stuff is. On the right-hand side, walking down, it's mainly uh, hotels. There's a few bits and bobs, but you know, as you can see over there, the swimwear, what we call ramel shops. A Dairy Queen, not so many of those. Uh, and a, a liquor store. Uh, the Twisty Treats. There you go. The famous Twisty Treats. Uh, I've only ever been there once. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the ice creams are very nice. Uh, you'll see a lot of these down here. The smoke shops. There's quite a few. Uh, and if you are wandering down our drive, you'll uh, you'll be able to smell those smoke shops. Uh, it is what it is. It's uh, I think it's legal for medical use in Florida, but I don't think they care who they sell it to. So as we pass, I've not been in here. Uh, Italian buff is not my kind of thing. If you've ever seen anything on the on the vlogs. You'll know I'm a steak dude. Uh, so yeah, Italian. Yeah. Never been, can't tell you what it's like. Over there, another Hotel Floridian Express. That looks all right. Uh, the only ones we've, we've ever stayed at on our drive are the Disney ones. Uh, Applebee's, something if you want to try. I did want to try this, but uh, we watched Bill and Glow and it looked terrible. So we've given that a swerve. Uh, we're not going to bother with uh, Applebee's on this trip. There may be better ones. I think it might be a good one on the 192, but yeah, we're going to uh, leave that one alone. It's one of the famous gift shops with the uh, rocket on the side. Again, we have been in quite a few of these gift shops. I've vlogged them over time. Uh, they all pretty much sell the same kind of gear. Uh, there are some better than others, but it's the same sort of stuff. This is a new one for us. Arcade Monsters. This has not been open long, I don't think. Um, I have seen somebody in there, um, and it is basically the the old coin up arcade uh, restaurant and bar as well but again we've not been in there it's just what I've seen you've got the uh, this is the Rosen Inn nearest Universal is it? it must be yeah Rosen Inn nearest Universal 
6127. Uh, not been in there yet, uh, but never say never. Uh, and again, another gift shop. These places are good for, you know, if you just want a cheap t-shirt. Uh, well, not this one, because it looks empty. It looks closed. But it's really not a surprise, because there's that many out here. Uh, all selling the same sort of kit. And I don't think this this end really gets the footfall um, that further down does. But yeah, that looks dead. Uh, the Cafe Monero Brazilian Steakhouse. That looks, I have seen people, I've not been in here, but I have seen people go in and it does look good. Uh, it does look nice. Might be somewhere we'll try, but I've only got like three or four days left of this trip, so not this time. Uh, never tried the little travel agents with the tickets and what have you. Uh, but again, another smoke shop. They're all, uh, all the way down here, to be fair. Now you can see in the background the slingshot. And uh, I watched that sort of Ramada Plaza behind Roboland. And I watched uh, Mike Bloggs in there uh, on the Bargain Planet, another gift shop with a comedy uh, alien ship on the outside. Yep, there you go. Yeah, I watched uh, Mac Bloggs in there, in Roboland. It does look all right. Not something I really want to do, having seen Mac Bloggs do it. Uh, but yeah, if it, you know, if you want to, want to go check his review of that place out, it's, it's, it's there, Mac Bloggs. Uh, again, I was a tattooist, I don't fancy that over it. Not a back street one like that anyway. Uh, it might be good, I've got no idea, that's just not for me. Again, more Ramel shops. Uh, but you just don't see, you know, the footfall up this end. It does make me wonder how they stay open. Uh, especially with the, the pandemic and what have you really decimating this area. Uh, the Avanti Hotel. Seen a few people, I think. I think it was the Burgesses I saw in there. Uh, they like that place. We uh, we like the Rosen. So uh, I mean, you never know. Never say never again. But you know, when you're happy with what you've got for the price that you're paying, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Mr. Cool Ice Cream and uh, Sushi Bar. Oh no, so not my thing. Uh, there's a couple of these for re uh, for for let, so they're not they're not actually uh, occupied. And then you must uh, everybody's heard of this place. You must know about Murphy's. In fact, I've never been in. So I think a cheeky Coke Zero's in order. Yeah, go on, let's go and have a look. Uh, I don't know what I can film in it, but we'll go and see. Gator Golf's just there. So when you see Gator Golf coming up, it's just down here to Murphy's. I have been, uh, I think it was closed when we came. I'm gonna go in, but it was closed. It looks open now. So we're wandering. I have a cheeky Coke Zero and see what it's like. If I can film in here, I'll bring you back. As you can see, there's there's lots of uh, sports on here. I think there's lots of sports on here. Um, I have to be quick because they do play music. Um, but this is what you're looking at in Murphy's Bar. It's really cool in here. I do like it. The old Diet Coke. They don't have Coke Zero. But there you go. So if you do fancy it, have a wander in it, see what you think. Uh, 
It's all right, it's all right. But I'm going to have to go because there's uh, obviously it's a bar and they play music. So we'll see you in a bit. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that it's a bar um, and they've got a lot of music, so that's fine. But I went in, lovely place, I could just do a quick film. And they said, yeah. So uh, yeah, that's what, not the greatest of uh, in-depth reviews, but nice enough place. Um, and so we're off now, uh, off again, just continue with the walk down I drive after a, a refreshing Coke, a Diet Coke, they don't with Coke Zero. But we can't have it all. So, here we go, this is the gate of golf <laughs> for everybody films. So we'll show you, there you go. We'll show you the gators. Should be out basking in the sun. There you go, whoops, there you go. Oh, baby gators today. Some big old gators. And little gators as well. There you go. I have been here before, we did. We met a couple. Uh, the first or second night we were here. Uh, again, another smoke shop. I'm not sure if that's open or not anymore. But they are, they're just everywhere. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Now, somebody did ask if that was still open. It might have been Aaron. I can't remember. Somebody did. Uh, yes, it is. It is slow, and there is one a bit further down south on I drive at Point, uh, which is the one we've been in. We like, uh, we did like it. Uh, this is a shame. Uh, it looks, I think the slingshot's still working. I think. I'm sure it's that one you keep seeing. Uh, yeah, but this is all closed. So the uh, the go karts. Yeah, no good anymore. Don't know how uh, how closed it is. Yeah, let's have a look, see what it says on the window. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say a great deal. But yeah, it's a shame that. It is, it is a shame. So from what I've heard, I never got a chance, but from what I've heard, it was a laugh. Uh, the old go-karts. But unfortunately, yeah, that's gone. Another, probably another uh, victim of the pandemic. Uh, pizza hut over the road. Uh, I think a, there is another pizza hut down uh, the same side as the Rosenin at Point. Um, but I think you're getting the drift of what uh, what it's like, and you can see how it changes the further south we get. Chill as we went in there, um, you, the vlog's probably be up, but we went in there first time. I think Wizards and Walt like it there, so yeah, we gave it a go. It was quite nice, we like that. But I think it was too salty for Nick, but yeah, it was nice. A little supermarket down there, another Ramel shop, uh, all the bits and bobs the discount gifts and everything. Right, I'm going to wait here. I'm not going to keep you while the uh, the traffic lights. Oh, dear me. Uh, well, there we go. So I'll bring you back when I'm over the road. These things you see all up and down I drive. You can't hear them coming unless they ring the bell. They're a pain. They really are. But they're all off by the looks of it. Um, yeah, you, you've got an app, the new app. I think there might even be. Uh, no, there's no, I thought it might be a QR code. Oh, there is, yeah, there you go. Uh, that's a QR code for them. You prepay, um, or you pay per minute on those. And they go up and down I drive. Um, yeah, they're a menace. <laughs> that's me getting old. <laughs> right, the Titanic over the road, Titanic expedition. Uh, I've not been in there. I have watched, I think again, Mike Bloggs. Um, juicy crab, but crab and seafood's not my thing at all. Uh, so we'll be giving that a swerve. Uh, and I'm not 100% sure you're supposed to film in there, but he did, so uh, well played, Ian. Uh, 24 hour dentist. 
and uh, <laughs> it looks like Mike Bloggs has got his own nail salon here as well. There you go. Uh, beer, beer, wines, and uh, I don't think it's spirits now. Beer, wines, and smokes, and the tattooist. <sighs> yeah, he could do with something a bit different, couldn't it? Um, up this end. Bargain World is another one of the what we call Ramel shops. And get all your t-shirts, key rings, gifts, that sort of thing in there. Uh, it's actually not bad that one. We have been in there. Chuck E. Cheese. Somewhere I've uh, not had the misfortune to go in. That looks always looks packed full of kids. You can live without that. Coco Key Resort. This uh, this resort's got its own water park um, that you can kind of see. I think you, can, you can see some of the uh, the water slides and what have you. You can just about make that out at the top there. But yeah, that's got its own water park. I have not stayed there either, so I'm not sure how good that is. Although I've seen some reviews, and again, it's not bad. The Sugar Planet, which ironically is tagged onto CC's Pizza, and we love it in CC's. Uh, we really do like it. It's great value. Um, but coming out into uh, Sugar Planet after you've had your, your fill of an all you can eat buffet, so, but only can eat pizza buffet at that. Yeah. You can imagine. But we do like it in there. We do like CC's. This is somewhere else we've never been. We got we met a couple of subscribers in the lift of all places. They're talking about O'Shucks, which is uh, a pub that's just down here by the looks of it. And they do uh, they do karaoke. Oh yeah, there you go, karaoke bar. Uh, not somewhere I've ever been in. Uh, I don't fancy another uh, day at Coke, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, but yeah, another publisher if you're up for that sort of thing. Another Ramel shop. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Dunkin' Donuts on that side. Now, that's, we've never we've not bought anything from there, but Nick is a big donut enthusiast, we'll say. Uh, mm, not really for me, although I do like coffee. Uh, an Indian we've not been in, Sizzler Tandoori, uh, Hookah Lounge, something I did read on one of the uh, one of the forums uh, is just watch what they do with the uh, the added uh, service charge on there. Uh, yeah, it's not so good. Uh, a gift shop. And the supermarket, that supermarket um, is really expensive. Uh, I think it, we went in for uh, one toilet roll, one one dollar ninety nine for just a single toilet roll. Yeah, uh, and it's tagged onto the gift shop. It's all sort of one actual shop. But if you're struggling, yeah, it's there. Again, you're paying for convenience. Uh, less said about that one, the better. Uh, and they were coming up to where we're staying, which is the Rosen Inn International 7600. So about, I don't know, probably a third of the way down. Uh, this was open when we came last time, but as I said, there's so many of them. Uh, it's not a surprise that some of them are going out of business. Uh, if you are staying at the Rosen, the top tip. This is the place to cross. It definitely is, because when you get down to the uh, the big McDonald's, the <laughs> the crossroads is a challenge, uh, we'll say. So yeah, if you need to cross over, come out of this entrance, cross over here and go to the bus stop up that, that way. That's what I'd do, well, that's what we try and do. <laughs> Taco Bell. We had an interesting experience in there uh, last year. 
that we filmed. Uh, but yeah, it's all right. It's Taco Bell. At the end of the day, it's what it is. Thank you. Uh, it, uh, they do serve something called a Bar Hob um, Blast drink, which is amazing. Um, we actually stopped at the uh, Taco Bell up at, uh, I think it's the Premium Outlets, north, and we stopped there just, <laughs> just for a, a, a Bar Hob Blast. You got like a, a slushy, so nice. Uh, Denny's, everybody's favourite, we like Denny's. We went in there, I had a T-bone steak in there, thanks to Bill and Glow. That was so good. Uh, we've not been in Manolo's. Not been in there. Uh, I hop, yeah, we, we, we like a bit of I hop. We've not been in there this trip, but we have been in. It is nice. Uh, for breakfast. And another Ramble shop. Don't get excited with the 199 t-shirts either because the yeah, well you can imagine, can't you? Any t-shirts I want, I always get from Walmart. And this, just there, the famous, possibly the world's biggest McDonald's. I think it used to be, and I think they built a big one in London. I don't know. But yeah, it's uh, here's a top tip for you. That place charges more than any other McDonald's I've ever been in. Uh, purely, I think it's because of the it's slap bang in the tourist district. And then get away with it. Uh, and the Burger King as well. So, yeah, it is what it is. We all know that, uh, thank you. We all know that it's a thing people need to eat but it's just everywhere. The plus side of that is you've got a lot of choice. Um, and I don't even really know what you'd put in the place, to be fair. Uh, and there we get the, another Wizards and Walt favorite. That uh, is the Hulk Hogan's wrestling shop. Something I'd just never understood. Uh, how it, it's still a thing. But it is, people, I mean, we came, when we came last year, the, um, the door was boarded up. I think somebody put the, the door through. But yeah, it's back open and working now. Perkins, we went in there this year. So the vlog will be up for, for that. You can have a look and see what you think about Perkins. Uh, and check is just over the road. So if you really fancy a burger, uh, you won't be disappointed with checkers just over there uh, I like I like the burger in there and the wings are amazing never been to a burger place that does wings but yeah this is the crossroads I'm talking about there you go it's mental uh, so I'm gonna put you guys away uh, and then I'll film when we get back over so it's gonna be warm up if you can it all hear me. So I'll see you in a bit. Oh, there you go, we're over now. Uh, just to show you over the road, another Ramel shop, tattooist. Next to that, the place is this tourist info, knowbeforeyougo.com. Uh, that's where we got the tickets for the Lynx bus from. Uh, Milo in there. If you do go in and get your tickets, tell him I sent you. He's a lovely, lovely chap. Uh, psychic reading smoke shop and then the Harley Davidson shop you can see that uh, we've been in there as well but it's, it's pretty much the same as the one um, at um, Disney Springs just smaller and then you've got the Disney shop there as well the new Disney shop uh, which is uh, yes yeah, not big there's not a lot in there uh, but I think they just wanted a presence to sell tickets and um, what have you online so obviously, uh, and Wawa, as you've probably seen um, on the video, is just down there, it's not far at all. Uh, I like Wawa, it's a bizarre place. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to nip in Walgreens, 
you get some caffeine and carry on the march. I'll see you in a moment. Right, there you go, got the caffeine in the backpack. And we're off. Uh, so yeah, this is where it starts to get a bit more... Uh, go on, I'll say up market. Um, yeah, I guess. It is what it is. Uh, yeah. It does... Um, I mean, you can tell. You can tell the different chains um, that are down here and the money that's been invested. Uh, so I shall show you as we're going down. So, yeah, that's the Walt Disney store I was showing you. Uh, and that's Mooyah Burgers, Fries and Shakes. Obviously, you can all read, but I'll read it for you. <laughs> uh, that's BJ's. They have... Uh, uh, takeout option if you want to just get the stuff and take away but it's BJ's browse you can see that on the on the web uh, yeah we've got mangoes over the road which when you're walking past that at night is absolutely belts out some music uh, it's not somewhere we're ever going to go but there you go uh, this side you've got Chewy's Mexican food uh, again, there's that many different options down here. Uh, you'd, you'd need a long time to try them all. Uh, it's not something that we've we've done, but you never know. Uh, escape room. We were thinking when we come back, we'd like to try that and get some people to come with us. Uh, Yes, the famous uh, Coldstone Creamery. That's, uh, they serve some really good ice cream. Really good ice cream. But be warned, it's expensive. And they, uh, <laughs> when you get there, they are, well, they don't ask for a tip, but it's one of the, the things over here. It's built into the, uh, the terminal, asking for a tip. Uh, this looks closed. Yeah. Disney gift store. Seen better days. Uh, and I'm wearing a hoodie, by the way, because it was bloody freezing this morning. Uh, there was there's some kind of winter storm um, headed in. They've closed Volcano Bay today. Uh, yeah, it's picking up a bit, let me tell you. Uh, Red Robin. Never been in there either. Not my thing. I don't think. But it's one of those things. Uh, what's that over there? Can't, oh, Uno. Yeah, that's the pizza, the Italian place, I think it is. Pizza place. Uh, and one of my favourites is a Longhorn Steakhouse. Um, they have the, you, you, if you've watched anything, yeah, the, the vlogs you'll have seen that I've had the cowboy ribeye there. Wow, uh, it's so tasty. It's very flavorful uh, and it's my favorite so far on our drive. There you go. So you can probably, well, but you can see it now we're at stop 11. Um, on the eye trolley and we're just heading in fact you can possibly you can see that just through the trees Icon Park this is a new thing I've seen somebody I can't remember what watch doing this uh, Ripley's Mirror Maze that's uh, that's a new fairly new attraction uh, just next to Ripley's Believe It or Not. Uh, I'm not sure who I saw in there, to be fair. Again, it could have been Mac Blogs. He uh, does a lot of stuff up this end. And there you can see Icon Park, the Star Flyer, 
and just over the road from Icon Park that's salt grass it's a steakhouse we went to uh, again you'll have probably seen that um, just to compare really if we wanted to go and have a look how the starfly is going up there you go some folks on it uh, Charlie's I think I mentioned before that we saw McMaster go in there uh, and yeah that's it's an expensive place uh, five guys over there by the looks of it and another escape room and I think another rammel shop next to it oh no smoke shop there you go well Icon Park when we came in May last year it was uh, starting to pick up again and uh, now I mean we came down the other night and yeah yeah it's really uh, it's really picked up from what it was um, and I think I mean when we get down to point you'll see the difference um, it's still it's getting their point uh, but yeah it is nice that is it is a nicer feel and a safer feel down here to be fair uh, it's just my personal opinion uh, of the fact that there's always some kind of police car parked up at that point I don't know, sorry, at uh, Icon Park just make you feel a bit more safe than uh, the, when you were looking at this way I wouldn't wander out here with a big camera on my own at night uh, there's a selection of uh, people asking for money um, it's sad but if you gave money to everyone I mean somebody said to me uh, oh can you give me something to eat get me something to eat I've got no money uh, and I said yeah, you know I've got no money on me I don't carry cash um, we were outside McDonald's and I said to him uh, no, I'll get you a McDonald's he said oh no but I need bus fare as well well, I haven't got any money, and he just went and, and walked off. So, I mean, they are trying it on. Uh, it's, it's sad. Um, but just be careful when you are out here. You never know what they're going to do. Uh, there's not that many, but there's enough for me to to say something about it. So when... Oh, OK, we're off now. So when you, yeah, when you do come out here, just keep your wits about you. Uh, that's a car park for Icon Park which is free as far as I understand um, and the one at Point you do have to pay for so that's something else that you might want to keep in mind Outback Steakhouse that's spoilers we do want to go there whether we get there or not is another story uh, and yeah another a, a bit of a, a, a point we were outside, um, I think it's Tin Roof, we went to, or we went outside and they were playing some live music and it was blinding, it was really good. A bit too loud for Nick, but right up my street. So yeah, you saw us in Shake Shack the other night and we've been in the Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, there's a vlog about that. Unfortunately, it is some uh, <coughs> copyrighted music. So we'll see what I can do about that in the edit.
Yeah, hopefully I've managed to do something with the sound there. Oh, and the bus is laughing at me. Uh, yeah, hopefully I've managed to do something with the sound there. Uh, this is old red. I forget the guy. There you go. As if by magic the battery uh, died. So I've, <laughs> I've just changed the battery. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it was there was old red that I was outside, uh, and they were playing uh, some copyrighted music that I really liked. So I stayed for to listen to it. It was uh, I forgot a name now. Carrie Underwood. But there you go. So let's have a look where we are now. This is a slingshot. Uh, this definitely works because we've seen them going up in this. Uh, our brother Jimmy's smokehouse, that's somewhere I want to go. Um, but, you know, you can't do it all. So we're kind of now up, we're at Icon Park. Oh, do you know what? I mean, it's killing me, this copyright music and trying to get away from it. It's, it's really difficult. You don't kind of, uh, uh, you don't understand it until you have to deal with it. But it is what it is. Uh, so this is Pirates Cove Golf. Um, it looks very popular. It's not something that we've ever done. Uh, I'm not a golfist. Um, it was something we were considering doing, but there's just so much to do when you're out here. Uh, and I actually, I, I, I'm, I, I will check this, but I believe, uh, oh, do you know what? This is it. Uh, I do believe that you might get a bit of discount as a Rosen uh, guest here. Um, I will check that. So I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but if it's something that uh, you're into, it does look pretty cool, to be fair. It's just not something I've ever done. But yeah, it does look cool. But again, I'm not a golfist. I'm not my cup of tea. Uh, so yeah, over the road, another Rammel shop. Um, you can see why I'm on this side of the road. Everything's over here, really. Uh, and then when you get down to to point, it's it's even more obvious. Uh, some lovely blue water. The Lynx bus, um, all of them come up and down I drive, so that's the 8, the 38, and the 42. And the obviously the I trolley does as well. Uh, that's that White Castle Hotel. You can see that in the background. You can see that. That looks mad. Yeah. Crazy. I'm sure I saw somebody. Uh, vlog that as well, can't remember who that was but um, if you've not gathered I watch a lot of vlogs a lot of Florida vlogs anyway so yeah when when you get across the road it's the same sort of sketch supermarkets, Taj Mahal it looks like an Indian uh, and just Ramel shops The yeah, bargain world. So when you kind of get this far down, um, this is the area where Cafe Tutu Tango is. Ha, there you go. And that's what it is. That's uh, Lee out on the limb. They like it in there. Uh, not my particular thing, but it is what it is. Vito's Chop House, or somewhere I've never been but I'd like to go. You never know, that might, uh, might make an appearance. Not this time, but perhaps when we come back in September. Uh, and what else we got? Castle Hotel. There is 
a mad selection of hotels. You could. Uh, <laughs> there you go. People won't be on the vlog. Friendlies. That's a place we were asked to go and have a look at. Uh, and it's. Uh, hmm. When we went past it, it looked derelict, to be honest. Some people are saying they've had a great experience in there. Some people are saying it's terrible. Uh, but yeah, you never know, we might actually go there. But that's uh, probably more of an ironic vlog than anything else. So the rest of the stuff as you get to the supermarkets and what have you down here is uh, pretty much the same fare all the way up but there is the lobster yeah, see if the car's here I did vlog this car before it's a beetle with a lobster on it it's mental but no it's not here but again lobster's not my thing gala gifts down there that looks closed I don't know that for sure but yeah Mia's Italian kitchen this is just, it, I don't really know how to explain it, but it, it just, it feels like you could do so much more uh, on here. It's got to get the footfall. There's so many hotels. Uh, it's a liquor store. Funny story about that. I think I lost my house, uh, the room key there uh, on the first night we were here a couple of years ago. Uh, yeah, beer, wine and cigs. Uh, again, the Avanti Resort, another one. And one of them's the Palms and one of them isn't. I can't remember which one it is, but one of them's a bit better than the other from what I've heard. There's the Avanti Palms I think people don't like. Uh, another Denny's, we've been in there, that's nice. Well, he's just, I like Denny's in general. And then Senor Frogs, which I believe is sort of food and what have you in the daytime, and then kind of a nightclub type deal at night. Um, never been in. But yeah, you can hear the music as you come down here at night time. Uh, Hooters next door to it. I do want to go and get some wings from there, but we never make it. Something that I, I like wings. Um, <coughs> and the Buffalo Wild Wings is quite nice. And the ones that we had, weirdly from a burger place, from Checkers, were amazing. Uh, so yeah, we've not been in there. Uh, we've not been in any of these actually. There's Howl at the Moon, I'd like to go in there as well. Uh, as you wander down, is this stop 18? No, 16, 18 is point, is it? Yeah, Howl at the Moon next to it. That's a, a bit of a nightlife place. And they play some uh, cool music. Or well, my sort of music. And then we get next to it. I forgot what this place is called. What's in tell yet? If they have parties for your generation of music. Oh, Bahama Breeze, that's the fill up. So, yeah, it's Bahama Breeze here. Uh, I think I saw. I forget what it was now, it might have been Stranger Couple in here. Can't remember. Uh, but, yeah. Not, again, not my cup of tea, really. Don't like pineapple. <laughs> uh, so yeah, obviously, you can see over the road, it's hotels uh, with the occasional restaurant. So then we get from here to TGI Fridays. Yeah, that's the Bahama Breeze. There. Then we're on the last stretch to... Uh, to 
to the Rosinette Point, you can be able to see really soon. There's a little Walgreens on this corner. And then Miller's. One of my preferred places to go. Love Miller's. Yeah, TGI Fridays. Uh, a subway. What else have we got down here? I think it's. I think it's. Yeah, it's Domino's. Yeah, there you go, Domino's. And we've got. Anime World and a smoke shop. Another smoke shop. And then Walgreens. Which is ideal, this Walgreens, if you're staying at uh, the Rosen Inn at Point, which is just over there. And then you've got the helicopter tour, and you've got Dave and Buster's just over there. So yeah, when we uh, we'll make it to here, and I'm going to oh, you can hear there's a helicopter going up now. Can you see? You can hear it. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can see. Yeah, they do the uh, the helicopter tours over the road. Um, I, I, I believe it's something like twenty-five dollars each. I think you have to have two people, but well, as a minimum. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to sit here for a moment, um, get my breath, and we'll continue down to Point. Right, got myself a drink. This is lovely. Have you tried this before? Rainstorm up on Kiwi. Very nice. So we're going to head down from. Uh, Walgreens now, there's not much much more. But I'll turn you around and show you. If I can in one handed, this is difficult, but there you go. There you go. Okay, so you can see Miller's. Uh, it's my favourite restaurant uh, down here. Obviously, you've heard how many I've been in, which is not many, but I really do like Miller's. Uh, <coughs> and if you're staying at Point, or the Rosen Inn at Point, it's just over the road. Very handy. The prime rib here is amazing. And as we found out the other day, the prime rib burger is just a different level of wonderful. I do like the list. That, just over the road, is a Rosen in a point. There's a few more bits and bobs. Uh, if you can hear me over that. Helicopter. This is the ice bar, which is <laughs> actually ice inside. Uh, it sounds crazy, but yeah. yeah. There's people wearing jackets, let's have a look at the times on this. There you go. Five till midnight, Monday to Wednesday. Five till one, Sunday, Thursday. Five till two, Friday, Saturday. So yeah, that's the first place we stayed on I Drive. The Rosen Inn at Point. Lovely hotel. This, I don't know if it's still open, it's like an indoor skydiving attraction. Uh, but yeah, it looks open. Oh, it looks like it is open. Uh, oh yeah. There you go. It's not a 
Oh, he's running at the minute. Oh, yeah, there's somebody in. It's just dark, can't see. Whew. Then as we get a bit further down, you'll see the uh, Wonderworks, which is the upside down house that everybody sees. Bit of a tourist spot. It does look crazy. It is cool. But you'll see these in every <laughs> you'll see this in everybody's vlogs. Uh, I actually think we've got we've never been in, but um, we've got uh, free passes with the tickets that we bought from Orlando Attraction Tickets. Uh, but yeah, everybody shows this. So there you go, don't want to be an exception. And then we get to Point. Uh, and this is one of the issues that you've got with Point there, which is you've got to pay for the parking, uh, from what I understand. Um, which, obviously, nobody's into it. I'm going to cross here because it could be a while. We'll just have a little look around the point and then we're about done. It is, or it was, um, really busy this place. Some of the vlogs I've seen pre pandemic, uh, but obviously, these bloody new things again. Uh, yeah, obviously, it's had a, a dramatic effect. Uh, let me just actually let me just look at that again. I just walked past the sign. There you go. No scooter riding next to the scooters. That's an amazing sign. You see that? No scooter riding. Just next to a rack of scooters. Whether you can come this far down, I don't know. I do know these things I think are geotagged, so when you get so far out of range, they just stop working, <laughs> which is useful. Uh, Magiano's Little Italy. Again, not my thing, but it's there if you, if you want it. And the further down you get, the pricier these things become. Speaking of pricey, that's the CVS over the road. Um, we went in to do, where is it there? One or the other. We went in to do a comparison video. Unfortunately, the footage was terrible. Uh, so I, I binned it. But just to tell you that the CVS is the priciest of all the supermarkets and, uh, on here. It's over there. So expensive, give it a miss. Uh, the Rodzio Steakhouse. Not been in here either. Uh, it's something I wanted to do. I wanted to go up and down and do the steakhouses on iDrive. Uh, but I, I mean, you couldn't really tell from what I showed you at Icon Park but you can tell how busy this place isn't. Uh, oh, and uh, automatically walk past something with copyrighted music. So yeah, I mean, there's loads of vlogs about this place, so I'm not gonna go into much detail. I'm not gonna bother going in. It does look highly, highly dead. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's from endless summer all the way down to the point. Orlando, um, it's I don't know, about 6,000 steps in total, something like that. Let's have a look. We'll soon tell you. Bearing in mind, I walked up to um, to the top of uh, Endless Summer from the Rosen in International, and I've just done 9,100 steps. So yeah, it's a fair wonder. Um, I don't mind it. I like walking, uh, especially walking when I'm over here. 
so that's the entire strip that I wanted to show everybody you can see how things change from how you get up north <laughs> a bit like England really how it's up north to how it is down south you've seen that now uh, so yeah it is a thing uh, but again I don't mind it I don't mind it up north at all let me just turn this round hang on there you go so yeah that's the tour of uh, of i drive done and dusted i hope it's been of some use to people i know there's quite a few tours out here um i wanted to do this in as like as a one take one as i could just to give you a rough idea of how long it takes to walk uh, and what you can actually expect to see when you when you're walking uh, i love it i love i drive um there is obviously needed uh, investment um, but it's a stone's throw away from Epic Universe um, and with that is going to come investment um, and you already know the prices are going to be going up for if you want to stay in a hotel and I drive next year so we'll see about that well thanks for watching um, as I say I hope it's been of some kind of use to people uh, if you've enjoyed it leave us a thumbs up that'd be wonderful uh, and you never know we might be out, out and about later on tonight uh, if not we'll call the vlog here thanks ever so much see you soon